Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. The other day I had the quarter company meeting and you may be thinking, okay, that usually is not very interesting. And you're right. There was something that actually was very interesting and it was uh, talking about inclusion when the, one of the, of the bosses said, we have this common expression of treat others how you would like to be treated which is the common sentence everyone uses and he said let's do a leap and say treat others as they want to be treated and i think that's a wonderful point of view and it brings kind of a whole discussion around that sentence that yeah we are going to address in here so what this implies it implies listening to the people you have in front of you this listening has to be active and kind of empty empty of your judgment and is is not about your experience and it's not about what you think around their values if they may be me or not it, it doesn't matter what it matters is their boundaries their journey is what make them feel good or bad because it doesn't matter what it makes you feel good or what you may think is nonsense for them it may be a completely different reality and because none of us have the key of of the truth <laughs> Even though I, I know that we all kind of identify with our thoughts and, and we always think that whatever we think is the best you can think, obviously, because it's what you think, right? But if you realize during your whole life as well, you have been changing the way you think. So what you think today, it may be not what you think tomorrow or in five years, in 10 years. So we have to be open to change our points of view and because we know that we usually change our points of view and even if we do not change our points of view there are many points of view and we don't know which one are the the real deal we need to take others into considerations and even if we don't agree this this common sentence of let's agree to disagree well that that's perfectly awesome you may not agree with what they want but it's what they want so if you respect people if you respect the other you need to give them what they want obviously we are not talking about something that it will harm you or harm the others the, the saying the other person has boundaries you will have boundaries yourself so yeah that's that's okay the only thing is is for example this thing with the pronouns i understand that it may sound weird at the beginning like why i'm gonna call them they or if he's a he why I'm not gonna call him he uh, and he wants to be called she and but he's uh, he so it doesn't matter what you think the thing is what that person wants if that person it identifies like a different being give them what they want it's like I don't know for example talking about gay people homosexual people LGTB I mean, there's this rec recurrence said that why they have to show, keep showing to these parties and these things and that to, to the pride and well, because we have not reached the point in which everything is normal, in which everything is accepted because there's so much diversity. And for example, women, women, we still have a lot of problems in which we are not accepted as equals in many, in many ways. People of color, there's still a lot of racism. So 
it's kind of the same. If you want for things to be normalized, you need to ask for these boundaries. And in the moment everything is normal, maybe in, maybe in 100 years, when nobody cares, when nobody really cares how you identify, if you are homosexual or not, if, if that doesn't matter at all for human interaction, for working, for the society, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman or homosexual or a she, he, whatever. It doesn't matter. When we reach that point, probably nobody is going to ask you this or that. You know what I mean? Because it won't be necessary. But many of the things are necessary to impose a change. So obviously that, that's quite a farther step from these treat others as, as they want to be treated. Uh, Obviously, if we, if we go back to, to this point, uh, to this basic uh, knowledge, is thinking just what makes you feel good, it doesn't necessarily make others feel good. And maybe what makes you feel bad is awesome for other people. So you have to be open to listen to to see don't think they're telling you something and you automatically understand what they're saying because you have something similar in your heart in your head just see what is that they are telling you the, the expression the feeling they are putting on what they are saying are they concerned are they happy are they sad Let's go to the basics without the mind kind of explaining everything in the second uh, one point half, you know. And um, talking about these boundaries, actually, it reminds me a lot on something that I've been saying my whole life. Um, since I began working with kids, uh, I don't wor work with kids anymore, but I, I began working with them when I was 18 years old and I was working uh, with, with kids for seven years and I had um, a huge diversity of ages. It was from three years old to 12 years old, more or less. And um, when, when you work with kids, you realize they have a lot of problems, obviously. And you as an adult, you may think their problems are quite absurd. I mean, it doesn't matter because they will grow up and uh, that was not really an issue. Mm, it, so it doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter. It does matter because, again, it's, it's kind of the same. You may not see it as a problem, but for the kid, is they are whole world at that moment and and the thing is that the problem is not the problem <laughs> is how is it affecting them that is the problem if you see them sad it doesn't matter what is making them, them sad the thing is that they are sad if they are stressed it doesn't matter that is an absurd thing that is stressing them. The thing is that they are stressed. And that's what you need to address, their feelings, not the problem per se. So that's, that's what you need to bring into the table, the understanding, the, the comfort of, of being there for them. Like, not just for child, for everyone. And that brings me to the next point so is don't ignore the problem don't don't ignore what is going on as well because obviously we are saying that the problem is the feeling not the problem per se but you also cannot ignore the problem and now i'm talking not just about kids as i was not talking just about kids before so it's just about um 
humans in general our interaction when someone is telling you how they feel or what's the problem they had or having um so don't ignore it it's not nothing it's not it will be okay in the future oh don't worry it will be okay or oh maybe you can do this so first of all don't give the solution because you yourself don't have the solution because we begin from the start point again our way of understanding things is not the same way other person may understand it what makes you feel good it doesn't mean it's going to make the other person to feel good so your solution it may work for you but it doesn't mean it's going to work for the other person because yeah we are so similar but we are so different at the same time so the thing is that it's not nothing what is there is not nothing is not it will pass it will you have to address to acknowledge the problem because the problem is not something you have to go around or to jump it's something you have to go through it's like thinking in oneself when you have problems you cannot keep telling you yourself it's okay it doesn't matter well i does and it doesn't but the problems you have to look right right at their eyes right in the eye you have to look at them and go through the problem to evolve to learn from it if you look the other way it it will keep coming it will keep coming and maybe not in in the way it came before it will come in a different shape and it will grow it will grow for you to because it's calling your attention is saying look at me i'm here and it will keep growing until you address it so yeah you you, you have to understand it and look at it and push through it instead of around so what are the three main things that we have said here? So one, treat others how they want to be treated. Second, don't, don't judge. Just listen openly. Don't use your experience. Just listen to what they are telling you. And three, pl problems are not something to be ignored. It doesn't matter what you think around the problem. On others or on yourself is something you have to go through and you have to let people to go through the problem so the same you have to look at it let people look at the problem so yeah you have to just learn to be okay not being okay and just address it uh, so yeah that was the talk for today hope you enjoy it if so Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to receive notifications for my next video take care and stay safe